2023. Yep. It's been a year. That's like a whole ass year. A whole ass fucking year. Yeah. Full of weird shit, right? Weird shit that like happened and we're all so engulfed in knowing about and then poof. Then boom, it's, it's not gone. even a thing anymore. And so Just we're like gonna, that. We're gonna talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. Ready? Let's, Let's go. go. Hello, I'm Ash. And I'm Lynn. And this is Only, Only If You, you can, can Keep Up. I totally hit my hand on the table during that. <laughs> Just ignore it because it didn't happen. Okay? I was like, hey, it's okay. It did not happen. All right. So, 20. Fuck it up. <laughs> Let's fuck it up. Uh, 2023, a lot of fucking weird shit happened that, like, okay, even like doing research on this shit, like, you it's can't Google not there. it because it's gone. Yeah. Um, the, what is it? Duck, duck, go. Yeah. He, he's he got me. He had quite a few, but yeah. still, like... You can usually find a little more on there. And it just, like, happens in, like, the entire world. Everything, like, everyone's TikToks, everyone's right. Facebook, everyone's the news. Everything is engulfed around this one item. And then it's, like, one day it's gone and you can find no. nothing about it. On to the next thing. Like, Literally. it never even happened. Okay, we're going to start with the balloons. Yeah, the balloons. Was it the was it the Chinese? They said they said Aircraft. whoever they are, they said it was Chinese, mm. and they were at one time. I remember reading like they thought they had missiles on them. Yeah, and the rumors that come and go. Like seriously, mm-hmm. there were missiles on them. They were flying over places that like oh China don't need to be flying yeah, over. One was like a lo- over Alaska, right? Because there was one, and then it took them a couple days for the president to like order them to shoot it down yeah. and then they a little bit later and then there was another one i think the one was over there was one around hawaii at one time and yeah. i think it came and went real fast and i think that's the one that maybe because over montana there was one huh. there was one over alaska there was one over the i think it was florida somewhere uh, in that area but we shot them all down yeah we just shot them down and they and never then, said what was exactly like, they never what ever, it was like what even was if in you there? go and look it up right now there's nothing. All it shows is the articles about when they were here. Hmm. It doesn't say, oh, we finally discovered that it was just some rednecks that were drunk playing with some balloons. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's kind of what I thought it was. Just they a bunch never, of like... fun, loving rednecks drinking their Bud Light and who oh, looks at these balloons off? And funny. it just exploded. Mm. Wouldn't that be cool, though? <laughs> if that's all it was. <laughs> <laughs> the world, even the government, everyone freaks oh out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It just... Why? Just yeah, and then you just forget it happens, like because it didn't happen, right? It literally didn't happen. Like that is all anyone could talk about for at least what two weeks. Yeah, and now it's gone. It's vamooshed into thin air, and okay, that happened. It's it's so weird and concerning. Like, but then again, it's like mm-hmm. I don't think honestly. My opinion and my opinion matters to absolutely nobody on this planet. But my opinion is. They were nothing. Yeah. They were absolutely nothing. And I think that, I guess our, you know, the big guys up there, they were probably like, oh shit, we made a big deal out of nothing. Yeah. It is literally. But then why not come back and say, this was nothing. Because they don't want to look bad. Yeah. They don't want to, because. look stupid. (laughs) They shot them. They had to get like military rights to shoot them down. Yeah. It wasn't just like BB gun, you know. Yeah. I feel like it was something. Do you? Mm -hmm. Of course you do. You're very, you're. (laughs) You're big in that. Nothing, so what you... nothing like alien type stuff. I feel like another country for sure, but um, a country, crunchy. I don't know about country. Okay, but yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm glad nothing came of it. So do you think they were like spying on? Yeah, us? I probably probably that's probably all it was. I mean, that's all they're Here's my ever question. really doing. Why, usually. why Montana? Why Alaska? Um, why not over these are the pretty, White House? You know my I mean? idea is these are pretty not isolated. It well, Alaska. Montana, they're not as populated. Maybe there's more going on there we don't know about as far as secret type things. Okay, so like I would be behind that if it was like flying over Area 51 and shit. Like yeah, I would be like, but that's okay. what I'm saying. How many places like that do you think there are that are not discussed? Like, True. True. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe it's something like that. <laughs> like me. the least populated places that wouldn't sound like a big deal they're keeping an eye on. but Or maybe they just have more... Um, you know, more visual being open, not so many city lights and not so much, you know, distorted so from the sky. So what do you sky. think they were trying to gain? Like, in your opinion, obviously. Mm, just until, like, I don't know, it could be anything. Just 
They could be, it could be something with satellites. It could be something with technology or just like, I don't know. I don't feel like it was like dangerous. I just feel like something they Somebody were just spying on something. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. No, who knows? So I mean, you think it was some other country coming to spy on us for some reason? And probably. I think it was a bunch of fun loving rednecks <laughs> drinking their Bud Light. And like, let's release these blues. And they just took <laughs> off and went wherever they went. Yeah, maybe it was both. Maybe it was some drunk rednecks in another country. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, what would, who knows what other countries have? They got probably got weirdos just like that we got here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's but still, whatever it was, nothing came of it. So it's like... Yeah. Did it, though? Um, that they we know did, of. They that didn't we tell know us of. if it did. Yeah. Because why... Oh, I, I can't... I gotta, I gotta and also, distractions, mind. distractions. So it could have been our own people doing it. Yes. You know, like, it could have been a, just a I wonder what else was going on around that Exactly. I, we yeah. should have looked that yeah. up because... Yeah, and we'll have to start... Yeah, we'll have to start taking notes when weird stuff like that happens. Just, like, to right. see what correlates. We like, really wanted to do a, an episode on, like, the end of the year. Like, things yeah, that like, happened this year that were year. different. What a crazy year. And we could not think of it. Like, we thought yeah. of, like, two. <laughs> yeah, looking back, it's like, I know so many weird things happen where we but were what? all just like, what? Exactly. But th- it's hard but that, to... Well, the submarine going... To, that, like, people talk... That one. was, like, completely all anybody talked about. It for, was everywhere. Yeah, it was ridiculous. You heard people talking about it in Walmart. You right. Were, and we live in the middle of stupid nowhere. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're nowhere worth right. a damn. And everybody was yeah. talking about it. My thing was... The hope they were trying to give the world that these people yeah. were alive. Like, the minute I heard about it, I'm like, yeah, they're not there. Yeah. There, there is Mm-mm. no way. No. But they were trying. They're yeah. like, oh, they have 14 hours of air left. They'll be mm. fine. Oh, we still have eight hours to find them. They'll yeah. be fine. No. Nope. I'm sorry. If you lose There's something nobody. like that, it's gone. Yeah. Like, it's there's no... Absolutely there's just no. too much working against you down that exactly. far. Exactly. <laughs> like, I mean, there's... <laughs> And what did they end up finding? What pieces or? I think that was it. Like just very few pieces. Yeah. Of it because it completely imploded and just, yeah. like, it was gone. Yeah. Like I don't think they found much at all. Like at all. Yeah. And whatever was left of, you know, human remains. That I'm was sure it was. Gone. I saw, uh, I don't know if it was on TikTok or what, but it was like these people and they were trying to say, oh, here's the human remains from this the sub explosion mm. implosion i'm sorry and blah 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 and they were trying to like they had millions of views on this tiktok and it's like do you not know what an implosion is right like they they all evaporated right like they're gone yeah like even their clothing there's nothing left at yeah. all of anything in that i guess maybe, maybe some people don't know what yeah an implosion is but the pressure that comes with i mean that's not just a it's not an explosion outside in the air. It's yeah. underwater. It has to do with More pressure. More like combustion, and, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. like it's not. It wouldn't go outward. It would mostly disintegrate. I don't know, though. I've never been that far underwater to know exactly how it would go. But I assume it would all just like. But I mean, okay, even think about like when you were a kid, which you might have not have done this, but like jumping into the deep end of a pool, you're down six foot right, yeah. and the feeling like in your off head, a diving board or something exactly yeah. the feeling you have like on your head and body the mm-hmm. pressure down there yeah that's just six foot ten yeah. foot that's well and not... i've always something i've always thought a lot about is like spontaneous combustion and like oh, i don't know anyway off track but yeah i mean it's essentially it's like combustion it gets yeah it just but it was there and we talked about it and talked about it and talked about it and, and it's like it's they gone. we found it we, we found it. We found the sub. It yeah. was gone. And we all knew it was gone. And then the next day, it the whole thing's gone. Yeah. Nobody talks about it. We're talking about other stuff now. It it amazes me yeah. how our world can be engulfed yeah. for such a short time on something. And then we don't even bring it up. We don't even... yeah. Like, it's rare to see anything about it. Like, a year later on the date, we might say a year ago it imploded. And that's it. Yeah. Like... Yeah. But there's nothing... There's... And never... I guess because there's no way to explain what happened or anything else to talk about. But, like, it all just seems like there's so many big distractions. And then I need to start paying attention to what's actually going we on need to around that time. Like, I have a planner for next year. I'm going to write it down, like, in the back. Yeah, like, okay, this happened. Because you know idea. some shit's about to happen in 2024 because right of our world now. Yeah. So some shit's about to happen. But Well, then you got, okay... The fires in Hawaii, the Ma- or Maui, the oh my god, that whole thing, that like, was horrible. That was like, devastating, like absolutely terrible. 
And the, uh, and the videos that the people just like, oh, Okay, my thing terrible. was like, and I know most of everybody got the videos on TikTok. If you TikTok, yeah. you scroll through and it's people who are there bawling their eyes right. out. Like, have you seen my mother? Here is her photo. Yeah. She's been gone. We can't find her. She wasn't at her house. There's no remains of her. You know, yeah. all of this stuff. And there's so many of these people saying, the news is saying 100 people died. We're up to 3,000. Yeah. Like, why are we... Who do you believe? Do yeah. you believe the news or do you believe these people on TikTok who right. are in their home is gone? They're right there and they're exactly. telling you exactly what's happening. Exactly. And yeah, why the media is making it seem like less than it is when also there were, I was really deep in it then, but something is blocking me from remembering. Uh, maybe just my shitty memory. I'm say that's ADHD. But I got way too far into it, like with the theories and the conspiracies uh, yeah. and all that on you know, what actually caused it, what actually happened. Like, Wasn't it, well, okay, didn't they say it was like wind from a hurricane in the middle of the ocean blew and it was like fire season and it took a fire over? Said. Isn't that what it was? That's what they said. Okay. But then there was theories that, you know, like they had shut off all the water that day and they had See, closed schools that, that day and then everything blew, but then, didn't burn. <laughs> but then they didn't alert anybody. Yeah. Like yeah. the fire had started and they have like, okay, so like, where we live, if there's a tornado coming, we have a siren right. that goes off to, that alerts the entire right. community. They had no They warning. have those for fire yeah. in Hawaii, and they did not go off. Yeah. And it's not like it was just in one minute the entire land was on fire. Yeah. You know, it takes... Well, a- and there were claims of people saying they saw things coming from the sky. Like, some people said they saw... What was that? A door. It sounded like I someone a with door. a flute. <laughs> <laughs> one of my squeaky doors in the hallway. Sorry, oh, okay. everybody. But, you know, some people said they saw things coming, you know, makes you think that it was something aimed, something like but why there? premeditated. Was there something there? Um, I have seen all kinds of theories about certain higher up individuals wanting to use that land for specific things. Um, okay. Did you see the thing with Oprah and Dwayne? Rock yeah. Johnson? Yep. Did yep, you I see saw the that people too. freak the yes, fuck out? Yes, absolutely. I don't know. And that's all them. tied into the whole, all the blue stuff not disappearing too. <laughs> is it? How? Because that, that blue, co- the color blue is supposed I've heard to of be, this. I don't know, it's not like, I don't know if it was like a weapons testing type of situation or if it was like a premeditated, like they did it for a reason, but I feel like there was something planning that i don't know what the blue thing is all about but there was so many people after that that went and got blue vehicles and went and got blue roofs so and... you think it was another conspiracy essentially yeah but at this point everything's a conspiracy you know we I don't know say, there's so much going i think on. you are an actual conspiracy oh i love theory. this shit i love I it not. i don't I... like feed into it to a point where it bothers me on a daily right. basis but i find it but all so, so like, intriguing i believe the winds blew the fire oh yeah i do not i believe that mm, i believe 100 do not believe that thing but like the stuff with the celebrity saying, "Oh, donate here," mm. but then they didn't. Donate. Trying to prop it off, and then of it like and, yeah, certain people's lands they have acres and acres and acres and acres, but they didn't open their doors up to one human. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean to help them. And some stuff think like that, that those higher up elite type of people were behind it because they're wanting that area for specific reasons. And oh, see, I just think they're greedy. And I don't <laughs> so. know. I don't, I'm not saying I believe any of that, but I do not feel like it was a natural occurrence. And no. I do. Really? Yeah. What about the wildfires and the, the smoke haze we had way down here? Nowhere near Canada. Okay. I can understand a little smoke coming in through like winds and all that i understand that but okay. for days our air quality was absolutely terrible and we live in the fucking midwest right like, and we're, we're pretty far near, we're pretty far down like we're nowhere near a border mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay the wildfire. but you could the, smell i could smell it the Canadian, i could smell something that i can understand how smoke can travel yeah i can understand that but I am now 36 years old, and this has never happened before. Right. It's never happened before. Canada has lots of wildfires. Lots this was not them. able to be controlled. Hundreds of fires still not under control. And it was, our skies were orange for two days. They were. It was a very strange orange haze with a very strange smell. Smell, The yes. air quality was absolutely horrible. The smell, okay, I get if, you know, different reactions from the heat and the sun and the all, but this was not. This was like a chemical smell. This was different, it and there are a lot like, of theories there too. It smelled like okay, you know, whenever you have a 
a bonfire and you toss in like a plastic yes, bottle. Yes, like burning plastic or like burning like. chemicals. Yeah, it, it was. And more I plastic. still smell it now and then, but I think we really do have a bunch of rednecks in our neighborhood burning plastic at that night. So okay. that's probably I what love it is. rednecks. But I, that was what concerned me more than anything was the smell. I was like, this is not just wildfire. Like I don't. So okay, what do you think that was then? I'm. Not, I 100% believe there were wildfires. I'm, right. I'm not saying they got that out of control on their own. There were wildfires. Yes, some of the smoke may have traveled. I feel like that may have been used as an excuse or as a, a de- like a, a de- like a cover up, like a, like a, oh let's use this to look like this, but they were actually doing something else. I don't know if it was okay, like so what you're chemical saying... plants or something. There was a lot of stuff going on at that time. So what you're saying is there are fires. In Canada, mm-hmm. and they're blowing towards the United States, which we all knew that. Right. Like, the border, I get. Like, right around that border of the United States. And, you know, right in the... I get. You're going to see the Canadian fires. I understand that. So, what you're saying is you think that the men, you know who I'm talking mm-hmm. about, were like, we can blame these fires yeah, if we do this, to this our advantage. now. And they release something? Yeah, I feel like there was some kind of... Like, the timing... They used it to their advantage is what I feel like. And I don't know what. It could have been something for some kind of chemical, like, you know, to dumping you, dumping help, of chemicals or moving of chemicals or something. To help you live forever. <laughs> I don't know. It could have been something having to do with, I don't know, factories or anything. Like You, you just think that's what it was. It was a right. cover up. Yeah. I feel like they used it as a, like the timing's perfect. Let's, let's use this as an excuse. Okay. Cause when have we ever seen the smoke come in? And I'm not saying some of it wasn't, maybe a little bit of it was, but also sometimes the way it traveled didn't make sense. Like the way, I don't know. There were so many conspiracies around that time too. Like different things, like people had maps and they're showing like, this is going on in this area. This is going on over here. And why do you think that is? Why do you think that's happening right now? Like, and I don't, I don't know what it was, but I definitely don't feel like that was all just smoke from the wildfires. And I also feel like those wildfires, there was more to those as well. I feel like those should have been under control quicker. You don't want to know what I believe. Mm -hmm. They were wildfires. The smoke that we got here, the orange haze, the smell, the weird timing, like, I believe it was truly a wildfire. Have you ever, like, okay, have a bonfire and test your air quality right next to the smoke? It's not... I have not... never tested my air quality. The air quality period. here was horrible. Okay, horrible. but you're also getting that's smoke chemicals. from a wildfire. Yeah, but that's different. I don't know. I just feel like it was not... It was not typical smoke from burning trees. I, I just don't... I think... I, the only thing that I could say is weird is, like I said, I'm 36 and I've never seen this before. Yeah. And I mean, 36 isn't that old to be right. comparing, but you would think. But if, we hear if about wildfires thing, all the time. Here exactly. in the U.S., we hear about like, wildfires. Like, they had wildfires in, wasn't it Tennessee a couple of years ago? Yeah. And so. nobody around them complained right. about seeing the air quality and all of that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and I don't understand why it was orange. Yeah. Why was the sky it's orange? Like, because the smoke and the sun was trying to come up. Is that what the That's orange what they, was? They say it was something okay. with the smoke, well, with I the know, sun, but... Um... I saw several videos. I saw them, like, on the news and stuff of people in, like, New York and Chicago and people in Michigan real up there close to that border where it was really red and orange. Yeah. And I could understand that because you're not far from them. Yeah. You're, you're close enough to them. You should be seeing that. There's like, theories, too, that people... There was uh, some types of... Uh, sorry. There was... Uh, experiments going on with the ozone layer and the you know our I can't think of words tonight um it's okay I can never <laughs> like think our of words. Uh, our atmosphere, atmosphere they were doing things like that that messed with you know experiments and things that messed with what we were seeing as well so so at one point can it be what it is it never is anymore that's what I was it gonna never say. is like, that's and that's... I'm okay with that because I'm not gonna know and I understand I'm not gonna know but I know that it is not always as it appears see and I think it is always as it appears but people today have to have a reason for everything yeah. it can't just be yeah you know what I mean it's not and it's not only you for it's me a it's lot like when people. it doesn't make sense like but okay nothing... if a neighbor's having a fire and there's smoke rolling over and it smells like a fire I, that makes sense but, but that didn't make sense to me. I don't a know. A lot of it's things just, don't make sense. And the way it would come and go, it's like they would turn it off and turn it off. Yeah, it, that was interesting. It was like... Like, oh, it's clear today. Would, nope, never mind. It's back. Yeah, <laughs> like it, it would be clear for like 24 hours yeah. and then we'd get it again and for it two days. And it didn't seem to then, roll in. 
it no, just, it just happened. boom, the sky's hazy and orange yeah. again, and then it smells funky again. I, okay, that one I will say is a little curious yeah compared to the other two whoever is like, turning the weather off and on like, turning the fires the off. hawaii wildfires i believe were wildfires i truly really? do yes. see none of that added up to that me. was the hawaii one uh what was the other and one i don't need about? to know what it was it, but, it just to me it didn't seem yeah. like i'm not going out there searching for answers i really it's terrible what happened but i don't need to know exactly why i probably don't we I, will never you know, know why but it, but i do yeah but I you could. wholeheartedly believe it was not just a simple mm, wildfire absolutely i i think it was but i think there was something more to it yeah. i think maybe they caught the fire on purpose and it spread and they didn't want to put it out for a reason yeah. or something along those lines i, but just I don't feel think... like the way things now maybe these were fabricated videos or pictures but so many areas that were untouched I, it I just saw, seemed like things were coming so sporadically. It I wasn't... did see a couple of TikToks, which I TikTok quite a bit, but I saw a couple of them where people were like really close in that board, like from Michigan to New York, you know, the yeah. border, there's more states in there, but you know what I'm saying? They were really close to the border and they're like, my air quality <clears throat> is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Why is theirs perfect, but ours right. down here in the Midwest yeah. is shit. That's weird. So weird. Stuff like that. Yeah. But then once again, it's a TikTok video. Yeah. Which well, could be with fabricated. the Hawaii thing, I saw videos of houses completely skipped, cars completely skipped, like areas complete. Yeah. It's not a tornado. It doesn't jump up and yeah, down. If it's that, a wildfire or brush fires or wind blowing, it's going to spread. Yeah. And it didn't. That's not what fires do. So I almost think it was something aimed from the sky. I'm not going to say what. Would there but... not be in the Hawaii situation? Would there not be evidence of that? Like holes in the ground? kind of evidence you know what i'm saying uh, like, not I don't necessarily wanna... there's certain types of um you i don't want to go too far into okay, it on we'll here, but yeah but you uh, are a conspiracy theorist i am but I, oh it's more God, for enjoyment are. i don't right, it doesn't right, bother right. me like no, i don't right. make myself sick over it i just like right. mm, yeah that didn't happen i just never <laughs> i never would have said that about you I until right I'm now not. Which i is say crazy. i'm not but you are i really do get in like i really we've find we've talked about three things i find it all so interesting we've talked about three separate things and all three of them you have a theory that is not what could naturally be. My theory is just that when it doesn't make logical sense to me, something else is going on. That's all. That's all it is. But that's <laughs> everything now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, exactly. It's everything. Exactly. Because there's so much going on we don't know about. That's all I'm right. saying. Especially right. Especially now. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, what about the train derailment in Ohio? I forgot all about that. I did. Was that around the same time? Um, I think, I don't know. I don't remember. With all the chemicals and stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. That train derailments are something I worry about a lot because here in this area, we, I mean, there are a lot of trains around here and we don't live too far from several sets of train tracks. And that's when I, okay. I am a little bit of a, I've got bug out bags. I'm ready to go. Like, I'm not like one of those big preppers or anything, but I'm prepared for stuff. But when I say I'm prepared, it's not like a zombie apocalypse. It's, it's like when a train derails, I already get the fuck out of Dodge. I want to be able to... Just come to my house. <laughs> that's the kind of stuff that I'm like, no, that could happen because that happens. When you look it up, there have been quite a quite a few train yeah. derailments. Like, So here's my question. Like you said, there's quite a few train derailments. Carrying so many chemicals and like... Whew. What makes this one make the news? Right. You know what I mean? Right. Why did this one in Ohio make the news? People got sick afterwards. Yeah. If you actually go, don't go to Google because they don't help you. Go to mm. Duck, Duck, what is it? Duck, Duck, Go. Duck, Duck, Go and type There's in. There's Bing, too, I think is pretty good. Train usually. derailments. Type it in. Yeah. And it names 75 mm. of them that happened There's in the a last bunch of two years. And 50 of them had chemicals on them. Yeah. And people got sick from them. But this yeah. one is the one the news decided to go crazy on. Yeah. And why, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's my point. Maybe too many people were talking about it and they had to cover it. Or maybe there was something else going on at the time that they needed, you know, to or focus maybe, on that. But maybe a train just to It break. came out right around the same time, that movie, um, the one with Adam Driver. It's kind of no like that. that oh, it's, it's, it's weird. It's called, is it called White Noise? I can't remember exactly no what it's what called, talking about. but it's an apocalyptic type. It's kind of strange. Like, mm-hmm. I don't, it's kind of slow, kind of weird. Adam Driver is anyway. He's weird, but it was, it's good enough to watch. It's interesting if you like that kind of weird shit, mm-hmm. but it was right around that time. And that's a similar type of thing of what happened in mm-hmm. that movie. And I was like, what, what the fuck? Did he know something? Did they know something? I'm like, mm, this is weird. Okay. Like, <laughs> so do you believe that movies are put out to desensitize us okay, now. Okay, so if you get real far into 
conspiracies. <clears throat> you are you are now considered a conspiracy. <laughs> We're just gonna call you CT. Maybe I always have been a little bit. CT. I just, I've never realized it until this moment. I just I find it all so because exciting. I believe everything is as it is. Mm, but I you, can't do that. I, I can because like I feel like people need to make a conspiracy out of everything yeah. to stay alive. Yeah. To keep their brain moving, to have that excitement. And maybe that is for me. I, is I like the an excitement. An actual natural disaster that's happened. Yeah. No, there's definitely natural disasters. Of Which course. one? Name yeah. one. Name um, a natural disaster in the last five years. Well, the big, the big earthquake and uh, was it? Oh, the really, really big one. It was this year. Okay. Uh, it was like a seven point something. That was mass. Okay, that so is a like, big natural disaster. Earthquakes, mudslides, and tornadoes. Have nothing to do with this because those are oh, truly you said natural weather. disaster. Those I are know. natural disasters. I meant wildfires or something. Okay. that's what I mean. Wildfires don't just don't make sense to me. They don't. I feel like somebody starts them somewhere and then they spread. Maybe naturally they spread, but they start somewhere. Right. I mean, yes, I could. Maybe the sun can burn a hole in a tree and it catches. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody starts some fucking fires. Maybe they're starting it for brush control or weed control or to burn. You know, clear a space and it gets out of hand. But somebody starts them. Man made. Something starts. Okay, then. I've got something totally random that literally happened not that far from my house last week, and okay. I haven't told. I mean, like it was, oh, like, yeah, it was yeah. in the news. Someone told me. Okay, in the middle of the woods, and I mean the middle of the woods. It was so bad the firefighters had to get four wheelers, UTV vehicles to come and put this fire out. What? And they said somebody carried an ash into the woods and dropped it. That was their conclusion. That's their conclusion. That is what that is what the who does that the radio station's website said happened. You don't carry an ash. Um, not only that, but like it's been quite rainy, right? Like it's not like it's dry. Probably somebody out there doing some weird See, sacrificial fucking too. ceremonial stuff, you know? Like or somebody out there trying to burn something, right? Or get rid of trash yeah, somebody or just whatever. burning their trash. It but, could have been, a, but yeah, somebody but started my point that. Is, <laughs> that right there could have started a wildfire. Right, exactly. Just one person. Yes. Making a mess. Mm-hmm. And that's not, I'm not saying there's a big conspiracy behind everything, but there is a, I don't think that wildfires are always natural. Like they're, maybe the spread of them can be natural, but they're started by something. Like somebody did a boo boo. <laughs> like you don't just. What was the one in Tennessee? They were doing a gender reveal party and. Oh, I don't remember that yeah, one. Yeah, it was the big one in one of the ones in Tennessee that a couple of years ago. Something about a gender reveal party and it had something with sparks and it caught the woods oh, on wow. fire. And it just went out of control because everything was so dry. Oh, wow. and it yeah. Had in so long. Yeah. And I, I know that fire can spread rapidly. I'm by all means. So like, do you think people start wildfires on purpose? Like the men, the man? I don't feel like they're all on purpose, but I do. Yes, I feel like some of them are started on purpose. Absolutely. Okay. I don't. Really? No. I mean, they have to. There's controlled burns uh, anyway because they have, you know, for whatever purpose. Well, I would understand that, but like to turn from a controlled burn into a wildfire, that's two totally different mm, things. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who's doing it or why, but I do feel like some of them okay, are. Okay, we purpose. got on a wildfire. Okay, yeah, what else? What we I was got? talking about, Where the, were we? how far it goes down, though, like some people believe that you have to, the ones in charge of it all, the man. They have to share. They have to make it known in some way. And they do that through media, through movies, through that they, it's like, almost like they have to have consent, you know, like. What? So they're like. I do not. Us under- as normal people watching these movies. Muggles. Yeah. I'm not a muggle. It, us watching them and finding it entertaining is, is us being like, okay, we know about it and that's fine. Works like. Okay. So that new movie that came out. Mm-hmm, I don't another- even remember what it's called. Uh, Julia oh. Roberts. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't had time to sit down and watch it, but I told you to watch it and you did. I'm very proud of you. Not walk away from the world. What's oh it called? Gosh, I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> uh, I hope there's someone listening right now, like screaming at us saying, what the Oh my gosh. It's on Netflix. Away from. No. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> ready? Oh my gosh. Are you yes. ready for it? Three, yes. two, one. Leave the world behind. I said walk away from the world. <laughs> I mean, same thing. <laughs> yeah, but similar situation. I haven't um, seen it. I know. I, know, I won't I spoil know it for anybody, but right. there's some stuff in there that you're like, oh, this is kind of like what's something that just recently happened that made us all kind of think like, what, 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 what? Some of us. Some of us were like, eh, no, it's no big deal. But 
We talk about we go back to the national alert thing. Like I know we've already had those. Like that wasn't the a big one. deal. I didn't hear you. I totally. When looked. everyone freaked out over the national alert, can I put my two cents in there? Mm. I did not freak out. I did not <laughs> care. My phone was on me all day. I was in my chicken coop. Who cares? I didn't like, at I didn't first. Even... I didn't. I don't think I freaked out because I didn't like. I don't even think I turned you my phone off. Out. But the last Bitch. like I was fine for the first week or two, and then that last day or two, I was like, oh shit! Like people are really going crazy over this. I was like, okay, this is the same alert that we've had before. Okay. Let's talk about it. Why did you freak out? Um, okay, so I'm really big on frequencies. Okay. <laughs> really big on frequencies and sounds. And um, I feel like certain frequencies can physically affect you. I feel like there's a big thing with radiation. Okay, so why this one? We had one two years ago and then right. two years before that. So why People did were you... saying this one was different. Right there, right there. People, people were well saying, yeah i mean we're all on tiktok and facebook or something so to where we're somebody seeing, said yeah we're gonna have another one and it's going to kill us all pretty yeah. much not that was very dramatic, had i not watched anything or been on media point. at all i probably wouldn't have thought i wouldn't I, have even known it was coming i didn't watch anything i knew about it i think you told me about but it the day before even without going on tiktok i was listening to the radio in the car they're talking about it on there they're See, talking I about didn't. it like it's ev- it was Which, everywhere so, like, you can't avoid what they're thinking. Like I don't do media. Like, I in my car, my aux is plugged in, yeah. and I play my playlist. Um, I even, home. like, I stayed off TikTok for days because I didn't want to hear yeah. about it. But I get, I turn my radio on in the car because I do in the mornings a lot. I'll listen to the radio. It was on there. It was all over my Facebook. I wasn't looking for it. I wasn't searching for it. It was like you couldn't avoid it. People just wouldn't fear. stop talking it's about it. It's people spreading fear mm-hmm. is Exactly. Is. Why can't we spread love instead? Right. No, I know. But that's just not the way the world know, is right now. I know, but seriously, think about it. If we could spread love... And oh, kindness I right? and joy and generosity instead of fear. Right. Do you know where our planet would be? Right. Yeah. But oh my god. Anyway, the human race is so fucked up at this point. So the frequency went off and nobody, nothing happened. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. But you know, even though it was the same thing, you know, a lot of people were concerned that it was going to be a different frequency. It was going to so be a different. So what did people think was going to happen? Like people's ears were going to start bleeding or something? Like what was what was the what that was it the... would. <laughs> Make I it, saw all kinds of stuff that like it, it would make people angry. It would make people mean. It would make people want to like a civil war type of thing, like where people were oh my like gosh. at each other because they were so aggravated and so irritable. Seriously. And so, and I'd seen things that um, it would mess with our health. That it would set off something with the the vaccine, something with the COVID stuff. So I've seen all kinds of oh stuff. Oh my gosh! So like, but like this movie, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. I'm not going to spoil anything, but like it's a similar kind of thing, like. The frequencies, you, there is proof that frequencies can mess with you. Like, well, and there's, yeah, and radiation yeah. can mess with you. And, but like, my thing is, is if you seriously sit and think about it, one frequency that lasts five seconds long is not going to mess with you. I'm right. Sorry, no. It's not. And that was all that was. But Literally. some people thought it was going to last for an hour or two hours. Or, but when you go look it up, it says it's only going to last for this long. So it's only going to. At some point, you thought it was. I did. Gonna, because you said you were going to put your phone in the garage. I remember yeah. you saying that. I did put my phone in the garage. I didn't turn it off. I just set it out there because I didn't want to hear it. Are you saying I didn't want to get it worked up while I listened to it. So I just set it. I, I didn't turn it off. I didn't make it. I remember it going cage. off. I, didn't... I was building my chicken coop. I had my Zach Bryan playing. Mm-hmm. My, 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 my favorite playlist. It was playing, and it went off, and I continued to screw in the holes of my chicken coop. And <laughs> I was I washing dishes. I put, I said, I'll set my phone in the garage because I don't want to hear it. I won't think about it. So right. I set my phone out there, and I just washed dishes. I right. didn't turn it off. I didn't wrap it in tin foil or nothing, oh you know, but. I'm surprised. Some people did. Some people did all I'm that, you know. i you did it. No, I did not. Okay, I'm proud of you. Good job. <laughs> but even if it did, I'm like, I'm aware of frequencies. Like, I know how they work. Like, right. I can. I know how to put my fingers in my ears. No, it doesn't work that way. No, but, that's more. But now I am. Soul. I am probably a little extra. But also, these this day and age, I don't know. Nothing's. What's like, that noise? I don't know. Sounds like a motor. I don't know. Maybe someone turned on the fan in there. I thought you said the fan was broken in there. I thought it was, but... Okay, anyway. um, I really want to know what this noise is. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so what else do we have? What else do we have? What else do we have? Oh, the crazy woman on the plane. Yeah. Okay, do you think that was just some lady either, like, on something or, like, mental illness or my that opinion, there was actually something? My opinion. I think 
she probably got in some kind of some kind of a confrontation with another mm-hmm. passenger on said plane and she took it a little too far and she was to the point of like I either continue to take it or I get embarrassed and sit down and shut the fuck up and yeah. she continued to take it. That's yeah. what I think it was. She has actually came out and made a statement saying, I don't know why I continued. I am hmm. perfectly fine. Like there's nothing wrong with me. I don't yeah. you know, blah blah blah. And I think the people of the world took it and turned it into this global crazy yeah. lady on the plane thing. And that I didn't really get too far into that one. Like what people some some people thought that it was like a non human type of thing that she was yeah, in I saw contact some with. Shit like on a, TikTok, she's a lizard human or yeah, a reptile. A lizard person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she's oh my god, so many different things I saw and it's like, y'all, she's just a woman who had a freak out. You think she's the only one? Who well, they thought that plane. she saw one of those. Yeah, yeah. I saw that that she that she was every everyone that I guess was thinking she was in the right was saying she was sober and lucid, but she was seeing something that, you know. Now I'm not gonna say there aren't weird people out there, right. and I don't know. I don't know what we got. Maybe we may have all kinds of stuff on this plane. That I don't know, but uh, it's interesting. I don't know how I feel either way. I don't know if she was having an episode. I don't know I if she that person had... looked at her funny. I don't know. You yeah. know, it could have been something like that, or it could have been a lizard person. Who knows? I don't. <laughs> I don't really feel either way about on that one because right. I didn't do a lot of research but on here it. Here we but... are again. Why did it blow up? Right. Why does anything blow up? Think about anything. Why? Okay, let's go back. This is a couple of because one ago. person records it and the algorithm hits it just right. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, that is it. Yeah. Like, do you remember? And this was a couple of years ago. Uh, the Gabby Petito thing. No, I don't. Think you so. don't remember Gabby, mm-hmm. but yes, you. There's no way you don't. The entire world, the the young girl who was murdered by her boyfriend, and there was a man search for him for months, and then they finally found his skeleton. No, I don't. Oh know. my gosh, I know someone out there remembers <laughs> Gabby. Petito. I'm sure a lot of but people do. But my point is, do you know how many See, women go missing? Do you right. know how many boyfriends go after what them? Makes one what go, makes her one right. case? What makes that yeah. go so big in the air? And I know you could say she's a nice young white. Blonde girl. That's why. Do you know how many nice, young, right. white, blonde girls get kidnapped or murdered or slaughtered or yeah. whatever? But we don't hear about them until you hear it on a podcast or you mm-hmm. see it on the ID channel. Yep. Or unless you're in that community, the world doesn't get to yeah. hear about what it. What makes Gabby certain Petito ones? was huge. It blew up. Why? 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 Why does anything blow up? Right. Why do we know about the balloons? Yeah. Why? They weren't above us. Right. They were nowhere near us. Why do we need to know about them? Yeah. Why does it blow up? Why do we know about... And I could say, like, TikTok is a big thing for all of this. But also, I was not on TikTok for the longest time. And I still... I hardly get on there. Maybe once a week, I'll check it for an hour or so. Right. But even without that, I hear stuff on the radio. I see stuff on Facebook. I see... Like, it's still it's all over the media. place. So, it yeah, is media in like... general. The media decides... What we get to know mm-hmm. and what we don't get to yep. know. They get to, excuse me, they get to choose how you're going to feel about it and how I'm going to feel yeah. about it because they paint a picture of fear or yeah. they paint a picture of whatever they want to paint a picture of. Yeah. And that's why. Like. Exactly. It's. And yeah, it all comes it down. It blows to my mind. Media. Some yeah. of that stuff. It's all like controlled. Just, <laughs> why do we get to see some stuff, but we don't know about other right. stuff? Why did we get to know about the one train that derailed in yeah. Ohio, but I didn't get to know about the other 60 that right. happened that year? Yeah. It just doesn't. It doesn't. It, make it doesn't sense. click in my brain. It and does I know not they make can't sense. possibly cover them all, but what makes one get so much more coverage than the other? Right. It doesn't, right. I don't and know. then like the wildfire situation, I understand why we know about the Maui wildfires. Right. They were so big. They yeah. took out an entire community. Land. I so much yeah. died with that. But like even the Canadian wildfires, I guess because we have the discolored sky, that's why we know about it. Yeah, there are wildfires every day oh, that yeah. we don't hear about. All over, yeah. So it's like, why do we hear about some and not the others? Right. It's just such a, I don't know. It's confusing yeah. it's to me so, as to why it's so much chaos, but it's also so very much controlled. Yeah, like it's, it's controlled chaos mm-hmm. is what it is. One hundred percent controlled yeah. chaos. Whoever's you know in charge pushing the buttons <laughs> is is deciding the deciding yeah. factor of who gets to hear what. And, exactly, and it's. You don't know, believe you, everything the media tells you. That's I think that's what I'm trying to say is don't believe it just because they say. But also she's saying do believe it because what happening is really happening. You're contradicting yourself, okay, my love. Okay, so explain that. Because <laughs> you said I do believe that what happens is what's happening earlier. Yeah, right. right. I yeah. take it at face value. Okay. But now you're saying don't believe the media. 
I'm saying don't uh, believe the media in the form when they say the submarine is still alive. Right. They're alive. Yeah. I'm saying stuff like that. Yes, believe what they're saying, yeah. but don't be, don't take everything as yeah. the truth. I'm saying there are we don't wildfires know. We burning. just don't know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, that's my point. Like, the balloons are from China and they're going to kill us all. Right. Don't believe that. There are balloons. Believe that because yeah. they're, they're there. I'm saying don't believe... The stories that go along with what's happening. Right. I guess the stories. Not One way or another. If they're exactly. far-fetched or if they're Just too make logical, your own don't... opinion and be yeah. happy with Just, it. Yeah, exactly. Right. I didn't and that's mean, how don't... I like to see different opinions is what right. I like. Right, yeah. I'm a really big person. I'm like, I really like research and I really like... Uh, analytics and like data so like i love to pull from like this person thinks this and this one thinks that and this one. so from and then i that, make my own I was conclusion, say you make your own conclusion. Yeah. yeah yeah okay but um i find it's more interesting to me than anything i don't um now the the alert thing i got a little worked up that last day because i was you like did. my kids are at school what if it scares them that was my main Didn't concern you, like, like consider not sending them to school that day i, I was like should i send them that. because if it's really loud and they get scared and i was like no i'll just talk to them so i told him i said there's gonna be an alert it might be loud just mm-hmm. know you know, everything's right. fine. Don't freak out. I didn't say a word to my children. They came home from school and my, my well, middle Well, I know when they do me. just tornado drills or earthquake earthquake drills, they get worked up sometimes. So earthquake drills? Yeah, I think so. They, I know they did when we were younger because we had to, we had to go now. under our desk or in I the archways of the doors. They don't, I don't think they do them. Really? I, I know they do. They we do, just had an earthquake the other day. They do active shooter drills. Yeah, I know don't that. Don't get me into that bullshit. I know about that one. Yeah, they go pretty far with that shit. Yeah, I won't talk about that right now, but yeah, uh, just like, mm, I could go on and on. But yeah, I know we turned this into a media, what's real, what's not. We kind of did, but The whole year of 2023 was just a whole mess of like one big thing after another. And I'm telling you right now, 2020, 2020, 2024, mm-hmm. I can't talk. This is going to be up. even fucking worse. Oh, yeah. Are you ready the, for it? The aliens. <laughs> they're coming back right i mean i guarantee they'd already you. said okay, that they're we're out there each, let's each make okay wait first i want to talk predictions. about predictions we're going to do predictions but i want to talk about one more thing that happened in recently mm. just because i think it's sad and i think we need to talk about it and there's really no conspiracy behind it that matthew perry died oh yeah there is a lot of conspiracy around it right, shut actually. the fuck up <laughs> Are you fucking serious? There's a lot of conspiracy. What? What is it? He was an alien. He was a lizard person. No, there. Well, there's so much. There's so many different theories. Okay. Are you serious? I well, have you not know heard that this. the whole Hollywood thing. People, people believe that they're. You know, people are. Some think they sign contracts. Some think they're in with the dark stuff. Some think they're. They make these agreements what is, with. What is the dark stuff? Oh, it could be. It could be uh, anything from. I don't know how much I can say. Don't. Well, <laughs> I just wanted to say rest in peace, Matthew Perry. And yeah, it is very sad. They found, like, it makes sense how they found him. Yes. And I know he had some issues in the past with, like, addiction and some health right. problems. And he was doing okay, but it was, it makes sense how they found him. Um, the conspiracies are terrible. I don't, it doesn't I matter even, what happened. Listen, he, I don't want to give fuel to that. No. So what, he it's terrible what happened. Did someone but, just knock on the door? Yeah, I'm sure they did. Hold on. Wound up okay, out there. Okay, we'll get there later. <laughs> um, I just, I, I literally, I just wanted to say Matthew Perry passed away, and he yeah. was like the spark of my younger twenties on Friends. And yeah. Chandler, he's my favorite character. He's so funny. Yeah. He's so silly, and it is so fucking sad that he's gone. Yeah, it really is. And I, see, I don't. I'm not saying it's not sad. It is. I just didn't. He wasn't something that I wasn't a big Friends fan. It wasn't. I, but, it, but it was like. But. Like, there's not like huge, how Robin Williams or something hit me, but, I understand, yeah. but there's this huge generation of humans who were friends people. Oh, for sure. And it's like a part of your childhood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, not really your childhood. For me, it was, like, my early 20s. Mm-hmm. And it's, he's gone. And yeah. it's just, it's just sad. Like, I'm not, I didn't cry when she yeah. was bad, but it's just sad. And I just wanted to say, like, yeah. he There gone. were quite a few celebrity deaths this year, though, that were, like, holy cow. But, remember. yeah, it's just been a, I don't know. We didn't there's even a look lot. those up. We probably should have done that. But I just want to say, because that's still fresh, too. That yeah, just happened not right. that long ago. So, yeah. but, okay, let's switch to predictions. I'm going to predict, actually, I don't know. Do you want to do your prediction first hmm. for like, 2024? What about what? About Anything. One thing you think is going to happen next year. One thing. I think there's going to be a lot of um, technological issues. You think that's going to be next year? I don't think it's going to be next year. I think that's I'm not be talking, like, shutdown type stuff. I'm talking, like, some glitches and some things that are just, like, 
you know, like, oh, the Wi-Fi is out for a few days. or I oh, like I don't think we're ready for that yet. Really? I think that's coming in the next, like, five years. I don't years. think it's, like, what we talked about before with the full, like, going backwards type of thing. Not that. I'm talking, like, maybe solar flares or maybe satellite interruptions, okay. that kind of stuff. Okay. I feel like there's going to be a lot of shit. We don't have that kind of stuff like just like okay. oh shit like why is my internet out for two days that kind of stuff okay so that's your prediction. i don't know that it's anything permanent i think there's gonna be some glitches they're gonna be working on a lot of stuff there's gonna be a lot right. of atmosphere interruption type of stuff okay um and aliens <laughs> i was gonna say my number one prediction is we will learn more about aliens yeah like as a as a human race we will somehow have to accept yeah that like i i truly feel like aliens are going to happen next year yeah like they're going to so you 100 percent believe in them aliens that, 150 do you think they're here already percent. oh yeah they okay. have been that's something yes. we can agree on and we'll do yes. a whole episode on that aliens, one then because yes. we should do yeah. that soon actually 2024 i feel like it's going to be a big year for all of that because i do too because <laughs> it's like okay we had like a silent announcement like mm-hmm. during covid oh aliens are real guys yeah. here's the pentagon's exactly. official documents and then like wasn't it this year all the people caught on camera yeah. all mm-hmm. these aliens and stuff so i feel like it's coming mm-hmm. and it's just like they're slowly introducing us and oh, yeah. 90 percent of the world is too preoccupied with everything mm-hmm. else exactly Exactly. To even think, oh my God, the aliens are real. All right. You know what I mean? So it's going to be like a oh, smash yeah. in the face to the world. Yeah. Like, I, 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 we could have an alien fucking join Congress. You know what I mean? Right. I, they may already be there. That's true. <laughs> but, <coughs> yeah, I think there's going to be a lot more to that. It's just going to be a... And we might just discover, it might just be a big alien discovery. Mm. It might not be what I'm thinking in my head, but I do think aliens are going to be a big thing next yeah. year. Yeah. I really do. I feel like they're just like, not lubing us up, but you know, just kind of like... They're lubing us up, <laughs> literally. They've lubed us up for the last two yeah. years, and now they're going to I will be surprised fucking... one bit. ain't going to yeah. surprise me. But yeah, that'll be interesting. And I... Yeah. I don't think it'll be all bad. I mean, no, I don't, no, no, no. I think it's going to be great. I, I also, think it's going to be. I love alien shit, so. <laughs> I can... like it, but I'm also terrified of it because of the stories when you're a kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. We'll talk more about yeah, aliens another day. We'll do day. a whole episode so, on that. So um, if you would like to comment on everything we said today to or share, tell us yeah. or tell us something that happened that we can't remember because our brains are mush yeah. um you can do so at only if you can keep up at gmail.com thanks for listening bye oh happy new year oh yeah happy new year <laughs> we didn't do that happy new year goodbye 2023 hello aliens in 2024 <laughs> peace out <laughs>